We are following breaking news from Blendon Township. For the first time, we were able to see body camera video from two police officers involved in the deadly shooting of Takaya Young and her unborn child. We're going to give you your first look at scene video from the shooting that happened last Thursday. Before we show you the body camera video, we want to warn you it is disturbing. Now's the time to mute the TV or leave the room if need be. Now this incident happened at the Kroger on Sunbury Road in Blendon Township. That location is closed today, but is expected to reopen tomorrow morning. And clearly this incident has triggered outcries from Young's family. They, along with members of the community, are demanding answers. Again, we do want to warn you, these images may be graphic. NBC4 is bringing you team coverage of this developing story. All day, Caleb Michael and Eric Halperin have been talking to those people representing the family of Takia Young and those people in law enforcement. Jamie Ostroff has been watching the video second by second for a closer look at what played out in that Kroger parking lot. Jamie? Yeah, we have body worn camera footage from each of the two officers who were involved in the incident last Thursday. Each video from each officer is a minute long as the confrontation with Takia Young plays out in just a matter of seconds. The first officer to interact with Takaya Young approaches her car under the suspicion that she stole liquor from Kroger. Hey, stop. Hey, out of the car. Out of the car. By the time the second officer gets to the car and walks in front of it, the first officer had asked Young to get out five times. He keeps asking. Young argues. You can hear the exchange on that officer's body-worn camera. Out of the car. Out of the car. They said your soul stuff, do not leave. Get out of the car. Then, then get out. No, then get out. Get out of the car. Young begins to drive. In this freeze frame, you can see the car make contact with the officer standing at the front of the car as his feet leave the ground. That is when that officer fires one shot through the windshield. We've paused the video to not show that deadly shot. When we pick up the video a moment later, you can hear the commands continue. The car rolls through the parking lot, stopping under the awning by the store. The video ends with officers busting the driver's side window to get Young out of the car. Now, I did ask a use of force expert who is not connected to this case to review the exact same footage that we received. I will have his take coming up at 430, including some of the questions he still has about what unfolded. Jared. All right, Jamie, thank you. We now turn to NBC4's Caleb Michael, who has been speaking to people who know Takaya Young. Yeah, Caleb, what are they telling you? Well, Jenna and Jared, they tell me that Takaya Young was the life of the party. Anytime she was around, it was a really good time. They say she loved her two little boys with all of her heart, and she was also very close with her family. Now, as we all can expect, this was a very emotional day for the family. It was the first time they got to see that body cam video from the Blendon Township Police Department of that shooting. We were here this morning when the family came to the police department to view that video for the very first time. They were inside for less than 10 minutes and left not too long after that. In the statement from Blendon Township Chief of Police John Belford, he says this situation is a tragedy and is asking for prayers for the family during this time. I also spoke with Sean Walton, the attorney for Takaya Young and her family. He's been calling for this body cam video to be released all week long and says Young did not deserve to die. Are you surprised by what you saw? I'm not surprised uh, because based on what the police chief stated he saw, I think what is most surprising and what you know wasn't quite clear was how quickly the gun came out and why. It's just it's a tragedy, but more than anything, it's a crime and he should be immediately terminated and arrested. Walton is also calling for the name of the officer who shot Takaya Young to be publicly released. He says that is what true accountability and transparency looks like. But at this time, we are told that officer is on leave pending review. Vocal for you in Blendon Township. I'm Caleb Michael. NBC4. Caleb, thank you. The police union is also talking about the body camera video released today. They too are saying it is difficult to watch. NBC4's Eric Halperin is in Blendon Township after talking with the union. Eric, what else are they saying about this? 
Jared and Jen, first I want to mention we are in the parking lot where this shooting happened last week. The Kroger is closed and has been closed all day. Employees have been telling people that it will be reopening tomorrow morning. Earlier today, we talked with the executive vice president of the police union about last week's shooting and the body camera video. Brian Steele says this is tragic for everyone involved. He's asking the community to not just look at how the situation ended here last week, but also the moments leading up to that. He brought up how Young did not listen to several orders to get out of the car. He also mentioned at the time the officer got in front of the car, it was parked. I asked Steele if based on the speed the car was going in the video, was shooting instead of getting out of the way, the right call. So I would imagine if the officer was able to move, he would have moved. I'm, again, I can't speak for him, but I'm sure in his mind, I can only assume he did not think he can get out of the way fast enough. But again, we will not know that until the investigation is, is uh, completed. And he, we don't even know what was in his mind. And Steele mentioned the investigation. So what happens from here? BCI is still investigate, investigating. Once it's done, it'll turn that over to the prosecutor who will present to the grand jury. The grand jury will then decide if there will be charges. Local for you, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4.